So what is the Armory Show, ultimately? Well, on display at the Armory Show, we're going to see over 1,200 works of art by more than 300 artists from the United States and abroad. And this collection is not only going to be seen in New York, it will actually be displayed again in Boston and then in Chicago. Although those two shows are about half the size, give or take. We also see newly minted old masters being shown. The likes of Cezanne, Van Gogh, and Gauguin are well represented. Many of the artists that are going to be in this show are artists that we've already dealt with, people that you're probably already quite familiar with, and you're going, wow, these are seen as particularly avant-garde. Well, to us, they're quite passe. But again, put yourself in the time period. 1913 in the United States is very different than 1913 in Europe. The ideas are very different. The United States, again, tends to be fairly conservative artistically at the time. So, contemporary avant-garde movements will get the most attention. And it was the disorienting intensity and spatial decomposition found in Cubism that was the talk of the town. It was the focus would be ultimately on Cubism rather than on Degas or Van Gogh or others. One painting in particular became almost synonymous with the success of scandal that were, was related to the Armory Show, and that is Nude Descending a Staircase number 2. In fact, this piece will show up all over the place in a wide variety of political cartoons, uh, newspaper articles, critiques of the show. This is the piece that everyone talks about. And Cubism is specifically the movement people are talking about. And part of the reason is it's the newest movement there. Futurism is just getting started, so you're really not seeing much in the way of futurism. Uh, German Expressionism is showing up. Post-Impressionism is showing up. But just remember our, our time frame. This is 1913. So if it wasn't done in 1912, it probably isn't at the show. 